going on everybody my name is the pokemon master and today we're going to be opening up the final artwork set from darkness ablaze and that would be of course everyone's favorite non-dragon type dragon pokemon charizard um as you know we've been opening up a total of 15 of each of the artworks and charizard will finish it off um first we had grim snarl um second we did eternatus and then in our last video we hit sense scorch and being that he was a fire type i knew that he'd bring the fire type energy we were on an absolute fire yesterday not only did we have first pack magic, but we also had some last pack magic. We ended up pulling um, not only a full art ultra rare card, but we also pulled our second rainbow rare from Darkness Ablaze. And both of those cards we hadn't opened up yet, so they're definitely a welcome addition to the team. If you haven't yet seen that video, be, sh be sure to go back and watch it. Um, we're, hoping, we're hoping that the fire that was in yesterday's video will carry on into today's video. But before we crack into more Darkness Ablaze, let's see if we can finally finish our Shining Legends master set with everyone's favorite box the Raichu GX special collection box I have so many of these boxes it's insane I would really like to finish the set so I can be done with them as always we got our five packs Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Mew, a Genesect, Genesect, no Mewtwo. Interesting. All right. Of course, we always start out with Genesect, so let's see what we got going here today. I get excited when I see those white and green code cards, and then I got to remember, dude, you're doing Shining Legends. They all have at least a hollow in it. They're all going to have a white and green code card. <laughs> Alright, our reverse is going to be a Croconaw, and then behind that, first pack magic baby, Mewtwo GX. We've pulled probably half a dozen of these, if not more. It's always a cool looking card. Anytime you pull Mewtwo, I think it's, I think it's a good pull. I always found it kind of funny how the Pokemon company decided that they were going to go with Charizard as the, as the card that everyone likes to chase. When it should really be like a legendary Pokemon, like a Mewtwo, Mew, Deoxys, something like that, you know? Rayquaza, like Mega Rayquaza, that should be the car that everybody should be chasing. That should be in almost, you know, every set. But nope, because of the first base set that ever came out. I don't know, what year did that come out? 97? 98? I forget. Charizard was the one that everybody had to have back then, so of course. I carried over into future sets. Did have a fire type energy starting out this pack, so let's see. Maybe that's gonna bring bring the fire that we had from yesterday's video. Got a reverse energy. And behind it we just got a hollow Kelio. Our last video, our shining legends openings the five packs that we opened really didn't give us anything so we're really hoping that that improves on this video if it doesn't no big deal maybe that fire has been transferred over to the darkness of blaze which would be fine because we have a whole bunch of cards in that set that we do not have so i don't know we got a reverse breloom and behind oh no way look at that shining this baby Look at that, boom! Holy bleep! It's a rainbow rare that we do not have. So again, one step closer to that master set. We're down to our last rainbow rare um, card that we need. I believe it's Entei. And then we also need a Shining Mew. Those are the only two cards that we have not pulled yet. So boom, fire continuing once again. Centering on it looks phenomenal. I don't believe this card is worth much money, but this card does look pretty mint. The centering is nearly perfect. So yeah, awesome, awesome addition. Let's see what our last pack can give us here. I'm telling you guys, it's that fire. And anytime you see that fire energy card, it's time to get excited. More often than not, there's something lurking in that pack. A couple of fire Pokemon. Third fire Pokemon. 
Got a reverse Pikachu, and then behind that, just a hollow Zekrom, but that's all right, guys. We did pull a Mewtwo GX, and our third rainbow, third of four rainbow rares that come out of Shining Legends. We just need Entei as the last um, rainbow rare, and then we just need Shining Mew as our last Shining card, so Shining Legends, nearly complete. Two cards left. And let's move that fire over into Darkness of Blaze. As you see, we got 15 Charizard packs, so let's see if the fire can continue here. There we go. White and green. It's a good start. Got a Fighting Energy. A Steeny. We got a Ferret. A Yellhorn. Sinistia, Phoebos, Passimian, a Fletchling, we got a Wimpod, we got a Reverse Cling Clang, and then behind that, no flipping way, first pack magic, baby, what is it? What is it? It's a full art Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, a card that we do not have. Boy, the artwork on that is beautiful. I love these textured cards. Um, a welcome addition to the team. Centering on it looks absolutely phenomenal. The centering on Darkness of Blaze has been awesome. Way better than Shining Legends, so I'm hoping once we eventually do hit Charizard, once we pull that Charizard VMAX, I'm hoping that it is mint. It's there. There we go. Fire Energy. Um, I'm really hoping that once we hit that Charizard that uh, we're gonna have a good shot at getting a 10 because the centering on Darkness of Blaze, at least so far for us on the channel, has been absolutely awesome. Got a reverse struggle gloves and then a Galarian Darmanitan. There we go. Two out of the first three. White and green. Let's keep it rolling. Fire type, Clutch Ender. Air Fossil, a Furret, a Galette, Vanillite, Trap Inch, Teddy Ursa. Got another, got another Fire Type Pantsier. We got a Reverse Bunnelby, and then behind that we have a Salamance V Max. Not sure. I don't know. I think I think we have a. This is our third Salamence, it actually might be our fourth, because I know we got a Salamence V card. We have a Salamence V full art card similar to this. This is the VMAX version, and we also have a Rainbow Rare, so I believe this is the fourth different um, Salamence card that we have. So definitely a welcome addition to the binder. I love the artwork on again on these textured looking cards. Absolutely beautiful card. So Charizard packs have been excellent so far. Carrying over that fire from the Shining Legends pack that we had before it. And also from yesterday's video. Water type energy, that's, gen that's generally been a letdown. Let's hope for some reverse luck here. We do not want to be putting out the fire. It's generally what those water energies have been doing for us. It's just been dousing our luck. Got a trap inch. Got a reverse Corvic Knight, and then behind that, we have a Rhyperior V, another card I believe we don't have. So, continuing, continuing to pull excellent cards so far out of the Charizard Gigantamax artwork. Let's keep it rolling. Got a Leaf Energy, Vibrava, Simiseer. Got a Lunatone. We got a Pampor. We got a Spinarak. A Boon Sweet. A Dunsparce. An Electrike. Got a Reverse Clang. And then behind that, we have a Thievul. A Kabu, Turbo Patch Trainer Card, Dino, 
course it's bent a bit. Got the doubles beast himself, Passimian, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Gothita. Got a reverse of Scavalier, and then behind that we have his brother, the normal version. Happens quite a bit where I've pulled a reverse card and then got the regular version right behind it. Come on, Combuskin. Get your fire type family rolling here. Let's get this fire going. Pass Simeon once again. Fletchling. Wimpod. Got a reverse Gotharita. And then behind that, we have a Lipard. Another plain old greenie. Galarian Mr. Mime is our reverse, and then another Lipart card. All right, looks like we got seven. Seven packs left. There we go. Come on, fire. Ain't coming in this pack because it was a green code, but just kind of like a printing error. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's <laughs> super beat up there along the bottom. It's like a roller or something ran over the card. Poor Sad Marie. Got Paris. Gothita. Skarmory. Cubju. Got a reverse Suicune. That is some awesome artwork. Love the look of that card. And then a Muck. Second fire energy in a row. Trying to heat up here. Torchic trying to help out. Got a reverse Jigglypuff and then a vanilla ox. Getting a lot of reverse waters out of this opening. go. See if that fire is going to continue. Got an energy, area dose, familiar bell, Rose Tower trainer card, got a snubble, got a Melton, a Bunnelby, got a Paris, a Larvitar, our reverse, is an, <laughs> it's like our fourth water type reversal in a row, an Arctivish. And then behind that, we have another Salamence V card. I believe we pulled that on yesterday's video. So we got another one. I can compare which one looks the best. Get the better looking one in the binder. There we go. Second white and green in a row. Generally has been really kind to us, so. Let's see if we can improve on pulling a V we go we got that heat that heat fire type energy card trying to help out got our boy Passimian we got a Pokemon that eventually turns into a fire type <laughs> there's this there's his evolution Fletch into right behind it as the reverse and then behind that just a hollow decidui, that's all right. I do not have this card yet, and he is one of my favorite starters. You guys know Grass Type being my favorite type. Um, I think he's one of the coolest starters to have come out in a long time, so definitely a cool hollow card. All right, down to our last three Charizard packs. So let's see what we can pull here in the last moments, of course. 
We gotta have the water type energy dousing our party. Paris, Gothita, Skarmory, Cubchu, which I think is hilarious that it's that he's a water type when he's really not a water type in the games. But there isn't an ice type energy, so I get it. I get it. Me just being a hardcore, a hardcore um, Pokemon competitive battler. I always find the, I always find some of the decisions that the trading card game side of Pokemon makes. I just find it really funny. Got a Reverse Snubble and then a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. I'm not even gonna call him Galarian Mr. Rhyme anymore. He's just Mr. Rhyme because again, there's no reason to put Galarian in front of his name. Fire that person. All right. See if we can get a little bit of last pack magic here with the white and green code card. Got a psychic type energy. Got an Ursa Ring. Here we go. Get that heat fire energy card going for us. Simisir's trying to help out too. What's Feeboss gonna do? Try and splash out the fire? I don't think so. Hippopotamus. Centret. Got Larvesta trying to help out. Got a reverse Paris, and then right behind that, yep. Oh, what is it? What is it? Another full art trainer card, a rose, a card that we do not have, so we are not going to complain whatsoever. Didn't open up Charizard yet, but I know what's coming. On um, today's hits, right there, Salem has VMAX card, full art, looks awesome. Can't complain about pulls whatsoever. Charizard was not quite as good as Sentus Scorch, but I have so many packs. I bet if I were to crack into 15 more of each artwork, we're probably, probably going to have different results, um, which I may do. I think our next video, I'm going to crack into another Darkness of Blaze booster box, so that way we can hopefully be guaranteed at least one Rainbow Rare out of those 36 packs. Um, just wanted to take this moment again to remind you guys that once we do hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers, we are going to be giving away free sealed darkness ablaze booster box so make sure to spread the good word of the fire that is just being put out by this channel if you guys love today's video be sure to comment below make sure you smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to put out more great card openings for you guys in the future um make sure to spread this good news all around your social media channels guys i would really appreciate it i've definitely been appreciating the support that you guys have shown me thus far can't wait to see what this channel grows into in the future as always guys until next time